What's up guys, Wolf Hogan here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a commentary for The Outer Limits Season 7, Episode 3. Uh, the episode is titled, A New Life. Uh, also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like uh, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. All right, let's get to it. Okay, San Francisco. Okay, this is already kind of weird. The promised land is written on the top of the bus. Okay, that's like a red flag if I've ever seen one. Oh God, she wouldn't take no for an answer. Said I was invaluable to the school. Yeah, more like Beth is the only one who can put up with that pack of wild animals. I mean, she's an invaluable asset to the public school system. Anyway. The principal showed up on our stoop at 7 o'clock this morning and she refused to leave. Uh, she uh, grabbed under her leg, Beth dragged her for a half a block. <laughs> Dude, what as as principal here, shows up at your house you guys got me into this. You know, you to show, try to get you to stay if you're already. like this moving away? Great, Thomas. Trust me. I was just laying in for winter father. You'll not need these, Jacob. Right. Who needs all this crap, right? Look, I was gonna quit, you know, as soon as I'm through, please. Now, we've discussed this. That's what everyone says. It's pollution of the body. We want you healthy, we want you strong. Dude, what is this old man wearing? Okay. Is that like a backwards Snuggie? Good morning, Daniel. Okay, Poke? Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Father. Are you all ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can't wait. And you, Thomas. You don't seem so sure. He's sure. The Lord wants you fully committed or not at all. There's no shame in turning back. Just a little old-fashioned religion from the dead, Bob. We'll be making our own music. Are you with us? Dude, I don't know. That's a little weird. Yeah. Like, Super hardcore peer pressure to like leave your old life behind to join this like commune. That's a little much. Okay. Yep. Like around this time, I would be trying to get off that bus. So I went back to my desk and I started to fire my waste paper basket. I tossed everything in there, including my jacket, my tie, every card out of my wallet. I so he risks car. burning down the building he works no at. Oh, it's true. To make a statement. I was hoping a couple of the other guys from the trading floor were going to join me, you know, just <laughs> chuck it all. But uh, security <laughs> came and chucked me instead. That's all right. I, for the look on Harriman's face, it was worth it. How is he not in jail? That's great. <laughs> it sure was, Jacob. I don't know, man. Talk about burning your bridges. We're nothing without our faith, Thomas. Well, maybe for you, but I'm giving this a month. You know, I've cut my apartment, I've cut my car, and if this isn't working out, I'm out of here. I'm supposed Smart. To yeah, I know, I know. Cut all ties, start a new life. But look, this sounds interesting, but not if it's some kind of weird cult. <laughs> well, the Christians were a cult once, and so were the I Mormons. know, I know. Come on, you know what I mean. Look, I'm on the bus, okay? Just say She's sounding like a Karen right about now. <laughs> all right, I'll give you your 30-day guarantee, Thomas. Thank you. God. But if you're not completely satisfied, I will walk you back down this mountain myself. But in the meantime, I'd like you to meet Heather. Hi. Heather. I've been wanting you two to meet. Hi. Hey, how are you, Tom? That's like the perfect way to trick your friend into joining a cult. Soon we shall Just reach like the promise, promise him a soulmate. The others are ahead of us. You are the last. There is only one thing that needs to be done. Really? What is that? You see, that's why you don't join uncredited religious organizations. Because things like this happen.
There is nothing wrong with your television. So as Do I said before, this episode is actually from 2001, I believe. The transmission. So the intro the is a little different than the one from the numbers, the but it's still pretty creepy. YouTube with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal, to crystal clarity. clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. What is that supposed to be? Is that like... I wonder what the symbolism in the intro to this uh, show is. Like, I wonder what all of this means. It's like super subliminal. Maybe it's just nonsense. And they just put it together to make it look extra Illuminati-ish. The deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Please stand by. Religious devotion can Two lead years people later. away from temptation and evil. But is the path as clear if that devotion is blind? Daniel! Come quickly! It's bad. Dude, all of these people's clothing looks like Kanye West's clothing line. I swear. It's everything. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't here sooner. I was working in the Northwest Woods. It's all right. Your son decided to come a little earlier than expected. Oh. Dude, okay. that baby was not just born. Look, at Look how clean that baby is. He's a little bruiser. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, oh come on, baby. This is giving me like M. Night Shyamalan's The Village vibes. He's very, very beautiful. You and Beth must be very proud. Thank you, Father. We are. For the first of our new life, we shall call him William. The leader is naming your child? May he be the first of many, many children for us all. Come here, baby. Oh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. Well, you're going to have one of your own, baby. I know. Very it's hard to believe, isn't yeah, it? No kidding. Oh, uh, don't listen uh, to him. He's right. But you remember me in San Francisco. Me and fatherhood? Come on. No, I owe you guys a lot. You guys dragged me kicking and screaming from my dot com life. Not even a life. Dot com life. Oh, That's such a right. early two right, thousands right. thing to say. A difficult, but come on, you know, life with that Big Macs and uh, the Dead, the Forty Nine ers The infomercials, Rush Hour, uh, Mad Cow yeah, Disease. I know, but still, it wasn't easy. Okay, at least I didn't pull a Jacob. He's serving the community, running off in the night like a thief. To be consumed by the wild beasts in the forest. Sorry, bad joke. Well, anyway, I can't even imagine my life before I found God's blessings. William is truly the start of a new journey for us all, a new generation, one that won't have to deal with the temptations of the old life. I kind of agree with that. I would like to what live in a much on? simpler uh, time. You're up for it, and we have prepared quite the celebration. Nice. <laughs> but without all the creepy, weird cult stuff, you know? Feeling so tired or so happy. What is it? It just hit me that my son is never going to have a hot dog at a baseball game or watch cartoons or even see a city. Look, I think it would be great for my mom to meet little William. She would love him. But we chose this life and that's with all its that's peace, so weird to me though. It's like 
sacrifices. You can't have a peaceful life there are many obstacles in without path, and we have to completely with cutting each off one of them every in our single own person way. you've ever known. I, I want the best for William, just like you. And he's going to get the best. And besides, you can always teach him baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that dude is trash at baseball. Father. Daniel. Beth. Can I speak to you for a moment? Hmm? Of course. You both know how much you, you mean to me. You have, have always led the way for the others. Are you truly committed to this new life? Of course. Then there's something that I need you to do for me. Okay. And for William. Anything, Father, just tell us. I need you to give him to me. Dude. Father? Only for an hour. That's oddly I specific, you Father. To no harm. I need him. For a new ceremony. Dude, that sounds totally a made up. That will welcome in the new generation. He made that up right now. But it is a ceremony that must be done in private. Only me, our Lord, and yourself. No, no. No one else. We'd be honored, Father. You know, I was thinking to myself, I haven't seen any black people yes, in this thank you. community so far. And I know why, because black people would not fall for this. No offense to anyone else, but it's just like, there's absolutely no I'll way this much soon. trust would be given to... A complete stranger. I mean, I guess they know him a little bit, but he's still super, super secretive, from what I can tell. I, tr I trust him. I trust him. You're right. No, oh, I know you, you, you're right. You're right. You're right. Actually, you know, I, I, I sort of take that back. Not only. Like, not just Where black parents are the ones that wouldn't do this, like, I think any sane parent would not, you know, William give their child well. to a trusted religious soon, official. To be quite hungry. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Daniel, your love for your son is a wonderful thing, but please don't let it cloud your judgment, your trust, faith in our Lord, and our new way of life. Thank you, Father. My blessings on you both. Ah, uh, so, oh, uh, God, I was just being stupid. No, you're just being a father. Dude, he, the father guy, he totally is just gaslighting. Come here, sweetie. Right. Right. See? That's exactly what I'm talking what about. Is it? I don't know what it is. He did something to the back of my son's neck. There's a mark there that wasn't there before father took him. Are you sure? Yes. I mean, I'm almost positive. And you don't think just. Dude, the guy sitting down looks so uncomfortable in that chair. The stress of the last couple of weeks. And with the birth and the new baby. No. I mean, maybe. All right, Thomas, look, I know it's just, it's more than just the stress. I know that I'm giving William a, a better life here, but what am I depriving him of? Be careful. I start sounding like Jacob. I want my cigarettes, I want my movies, I want my, my uh, junk food. I do agree with Jacob on one thing. Hey, I don't think I could live in a community like this without mm -hmm. films. My friend, you were so stressed out, you were throwing up in the bathroom at work. I was sleeping under my damn desk and waiting for an IPO that never came. Oh, sure, that's a life. I Where did they in. work? We are happy here, man. Dan, this is the life that we talked about having when we were in college. Today. Really? Simple. You guys talked perfect. about being in a cult in college? Happiness. Love of a good woman. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I think that was the love of many good women. Polygamy? <laughs> we found a new life, man. Through faith and service. And I cannot wait my child to experience it. One without crime and violence, built with the, the strength of our hands and purity of heart. 
a life of conviction and principle. The intentions are very good. We are nothing without our faith, Dan. You taught me that. You're right. You're right. I mean, I, I, it's just... It's just, there's a lot of pressure on you all of a sudden. New baby, new responsibilities. Believe me, I'm thinking the same thing. Heather is right behind you guys. Go home. Sleep on it. We'll talk tomorrow. All right? I will admit that house is kind of cool, though. It's got a real cozy vibe. Without movies and, and stuff, it seems kind of like... I don't know. Father? Less relaxing, but... You know, to each their own. You, you think that, like, with the level of blind devotion they have for the father uh, character, that he would just think he was, like, you know, ascending to the heavens or something? I would jeopardize all of that unless I was absolutely sure. It is kind of messed up. She like literally I just had a baby clear. yesterday, really soon. and he wants her to walk miles in the woods. There you go. Look. Wait. There. Oh, I see a clearing. Oh crap. Daniel, are you okay? You know, this like force field effect, it kind of does hold up 19 years later. Some kind of invisible wall. What's that? There's something there. Get behind me. Oh, crap. <laughs> At first, I moved around a lot. There's no way that fire would be, like, still going after being left unattended like that. Father, but uh, there were others, but I never saw their faces. You know, I got scared, real scared. I mean, anybody who could stake out a whole section of woods like that is not human. <laughs> Smarts, don't it? I know, I did the same thing. Thought I was home free, flying like a bird, and wham. Wait a minute, you mean there's a wall around the entire forest? It's a big circle, all right, 20 square miles or so. I walked it once. Okay, I tried to climb under it. This dude I seems crazy. As trees as I could. No but I believe him. This place is tighter than Alcatraz. H how could they block off 20 square miles of forest without anyone outside seeing? I figure, you know, you got tens of thousands of square miles of federal forest, you know? No roads in or out. Who's going to notice 20 miles? But I don't understand. Why trap us? <laughs> See? We're like a big experiment to them, right? Like a giant habit trail. And where are their lab rats? When you saw the wall, Jacob, why didn't you come back and tell us what you saw? <laughs> I thought about it, you know? Almost did. 
come back, play the whole mea culpa thing, you know, I'm sorry, I repent, please forgive this sinner. But then, you know, I realized, you know, Father would never let me live knowing what I know. If you would have told the truth... It's like every crazy person in every movie that like, does Father this when they talk. make sure no one would believe me. <laughs> but then you already know that, don't you? Huh? That's why you ran, too. Well, now there are three of us. If we all went together, we could tell them. No, no, I'm not going back. What, are you just going to live out here for the rest of your life? Yeah, well, it's better than being roasted on a spit as a traitor, huh? We have to go back and tell everybody. And you have to help us with that. Can't do it. Yes, you can. Jake. Like, do you really think we'll be uh, the three of them going Maybe back with our word this what dude, all seen. What we all know like, is the freaking truth. out is going to change anything? No one's going to believe them. Maybe, you know, I mean, maybe if we all went back and told them, huh? Thank you. All right, let's go. Daniel, oh, okay, we'll go back. All three of us? Not tonight. I can't. No, no, no. She's right, man. I mean, it's like 10 miles back through those woods. First thing in the morning. Please? First thing. Let me look at this beautiful baby. Dude, I would not let that dude near my baby. I don't care how much sense he's making at the time. He's just been by himself a little too long. I don't know what he's capable of. Oh crap. Surprise, motherfucker. That was a weird dream. I just had a terrible nightmare. Beth, are you all right? Beth, wake up. Jacob. Dang, dude. Jacob. He was the only one with, like, the correct Jacob, information. The this is I feared. Help them. Help them. Wake up. Wake just up. in the nick of time. Please, help her. They just happen to show Jacob. up right when he wakes up. You know that was planned. Easy now. Took quite a hit. Oh. You know, I gotta tell you, buddy, I think it was pretty stupid you running off like that. And you're lucky Jacob didn't kill you. What about Beth and William? William's fine. Beth's in your cabin. We brought you here so you both could be more comfortable. I want to go see her. You will. She's been unconscious until about an hour ago. She's still a little out of it. She needs a real doctor. She's got to get to a hospital. Father's administering to her. She'll be okay. No, Thomas, I know that you think Jacob attacked us, but he didn't do this. Oh, good. You're up. You gave us quite a scare running off in the middle of the night like that, Daniel. Tell him the truth. Daniel. No, Jacob didn't attack us. Father did. What? No, he... He, he found us in the middle of the night and he attacked us. He set this whole thing up. What are you... Daniel, please, what are you talking... All what right, are you... it's all right, Thomas. He's had quite a shock. It's only natural that he's a little no, confused. No, Father, he, he found us and, and his staff glowed. He, he tortured Beth and I and then he killed Jacob. You've got to believe me. Don't touch me! Okay, Daniel, please, calm down. All right, everything's going to be all right. We'll, we'll sort this out. It's all right, Thomas. I need to speak to him alone. Don't leave me alone with him, Tom. Tom, don't leave me alone. Please. Father, he is pretty upset. Perhaps it'd be better if I stayed. No, Thomas, he needs my help. Please. Go. Thomas. Tom. I'll be all right. Tom. Please wait outside. Thomas! I can't say that I'm not disappointed in you, Daniel. You and Beth, 
You were among my very first converts. And now this. What are you? What did you do to my son? I am the Lord's prophet. And your son was blessed with a small gift. Something that would help him thrive and grow and with which we can keep track of. A tracking device? That's how you found the cave, isn't it? I am your shepherd. You are my flock. I am responsible for your deliverance. You call this deliverance? Trapping and imprisoning us here? Please, Daniel. It's not too late. Come back to us. I know what you are. And as soon as the rest of the village does, we're going to turn against you. Yara's children. And like children, you need to be disciplined. He like takes his I belt knew off. Things would go wrong when <laughs> Jacob ran off in the middle of the night. I knew that it would set a bad example. That it would put ideas in people's heads. So now I'm going to have to set another example. Ooh. Dude. Unfortunately, that's going to be you. He makes himself bleed from the head. Are you kidding me? Daniel, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? You completely lost your mind? It's a trick. I didn't touch him. He's bleeding, Daniel. I'd hope to help him with some, some counseling. This dude is a maniac. Unfortunately, I can see that is no longer possible. <sighs> Daniel has broken our first covenant. Above all, to do no harm. For this, you must be judged by the assembly. Dude, this is a nightmare. Today is a sad day indeed. And yet, like all tragedies, it is a test of our true faith. One of us has strayed away from the past. Our beloved Daniel. Where did we fail him? What do we owe him? We owe him our compassion. We owe him our guidance. But we also owe him our discipline. Beth. Beth. Are you all right? We have done they like, to her, Daniel. They pretty On much the lobotomized her, it looks like. That have done this to her. You are responsible for this. You did this to her. Tell them. Tell them what you are. They know who I am. The question is, who are you, Daniel? You are one of the faithful, one of the believers. Situational irony. He is a monster. No. He did this to Beth. He killed Jacob. I saw it with my own eyes. You must believe me. not making any sense. I know what I saw. Calm down. It's funny how Daniel was the one trying to talk his friend into coming. And now his friend is the one talking him into staying. He disappeared in a flash of light. His staff lit up and he was drawn up into a beam from above. You see, he's tricking us to keep us here. He's trapping us. I, you don't know. Look, Beth and I, we were walking through the forest. And we ran into a force field, an invisible force field that wouldn't let us leave. No, really, he's, he's using our own faiths and beliefs against us. You've got to believe me. I, he's creating the force field. No. He's doing, They're all he's laughing at him. He's like, he, he's an alien. can you believe this? He, he's a monster. <laughs> I, no. This is silly. <laughs> you've got to tell them. Please, please, you've got to help me. I, I don't, I don't remember. Dude, that's so messed up. Everyone who could have sided with him is either dead or lobotomized. You know, things like this are the only reason why, like, I think a society like this wouldn't work. Because 
Although it would be more peaceful when it came time to judge someone or to punish them for uh, crimes or something, we would like devolve into an angry mob. We are nothing without our faith. The laws are clear. And you have broken them. You have put all of our lives in jeopardy. I'd hope that you would come back to us, that you would rejoin the foes. But sadly, that is not the case. And so I ask, to all that are assembled here. What is your will? You see, like, burn? Burn him, like, at the stake or something? Like, what the hell is that? Whatever happened to jail? Surely, surely there is a less harsh... Dude, that's so messed up. He's like, I don't want him to be burned. Please, there's got to be another way. Daniel... The assembly has spoken. I must give you the harshest punishment there is. Because of your crimes, Daniel, ye are to be sacrificed to the Lord. You've got to believe me, he's a monster. I mean, if they really wanted to burn him, they would have just let him hear my mixtape because it is fire. Still trying to figure it out. What happened? How'd we get here? Nothing to say to you. Oh man, I want to help you, Dan. I really do. But the way you've been acting, it's crazy. I'm killing Jacob. I did not kill Jacob. Okay, then help me out. What's my alternative? Father's an alien? Do you know how that sounds? Tom, have you ever wondered why we have never seen another human being out here? Okay. I mean, we're isolated, sure, but so isolated that the stray logger or crazed militiaman or a hunter never wandered we're into our... We're in the our... middle of nowhere, Dan, so no. No, it never crossed my mind. Well, what about the bus? What about it? How did it get here? It brought us through the forest. Oh, yeah, on that dirt track? Follow that road and I'll bet you it stops. I'll bet you it peters out into nothing. That's crazy. Is it? Yeah. You see, this is you what you get when sure you do. blindly do you? follow people. Because I don't. I mean, think about it. Do you remember driving up the road into the village? I'll tell you what you remember. You remember falling asleep on the drive up and then being woken up as the bus pulled into village square. Yeah, that's right. And I'll bet if you asked everyone else in the village, they'd have the same memory. So? So we don't remember the ride. What is that supposed to tell me? That we were brought here against our will. To some completely remote part of the country. To maybe we're not even in America. That, that we're being imprisoned by some invisible force field wall that the aliens created to, to do experiments on us. I've heard enough. We're nothing without our faith, right? What have you put your faith into, Tom? Ooh. Do you really know? That was a great line. He's all conflicted now. He's like, wait a minute. Maybe Daniel was right. Let me go check it out for myself, which is what he should have done in the first place. It's like they claim to have all this trust as friends, but as soon as someone starts saying something that's like against um, the norm or against what's going on they're like deemed as crazy that's kind of how it is in like real society what am I doing out here 
That looks like like a night filter. Everything you've said. Absolutely, every word. I can't believe you. Well, then we gotta tell everyone now. You saw how well that worked yesterday. Father has made us into the perfect unquestioning followers. I'm gonna get you out of here. Yes. <clears throat> Thomas? Yes. Is there a problem? No, he's clearly acting different. He was like gung ho about it yesterday. Now he's like, of uh, nothing's wrong. Not helping anyone escape? That's what you're asking. Thomas, where's Beth? Tell her best she'll not be here. Good. They'll take care of her. On my life. Dude, getting burned at the stake would suck so much. Like, if you're going to execute me, like, just almost any other way. Even drowning, I think, wouldn't be as bad as burning at the stake. Do you have anything to say before we carry out the Lord's will? Yes, Father. Oh. Just one more thing. Oh! Right in the tummy. You see, you see, no one notices him, him like healing himself or whatever. No, oh, I guess they kind of do notice. Dude. They all just like bow and start worshipping him even more. The plan backfired. They love him even more now. Jeez. Then maybe I can disconnect the force field. Or maybe I can even crash the ship and we can get the hell out of here. Yeah. Here, look. Okay. Step back. Step back. What? No. You're taking me with you. You're gonna need my help. Thomas, this is probably a one-way trip. I don't even know if there's a spaceship up there. But if I can get this thing disconnected, I need you to take care of Beth and William. Good luck. Godspeed. <sighs> Your first time getting teleported? Well done. Well done. You can't be here. I, I, I left you in the village. There are many of us here, Daniel. Dude. And we take this form. It's easier that way. Oh, wait. Who are you? What are you? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Many questions, many questions, and I promise you there is an answer. Um, an answer. There is an answer. But I think you're going to be a little disappointed by it. Uh, we're just merchants, really. Dude. We deal in commodities, metals, minerals, water, and in your case, slaves. Slaves? 
You see, we've been watching your species for quite a while, and, and, and you have many of the qualities that we find desirable. You're uh, hardworking, you're, you're relatively easy to train, and, and you are obedient under certain circumstances. Now, there are these violent and rebellious tendencies, but we feel that we can breed these out. Breed them out? By the time we reach our destination, we won't even need the charade of the forest. Destination? Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. You, you still think you're back on Earth, don't what? you? What? Well, uh, perhaps uh, this will enlighten you. You see, Daniel? You're on a spaceship, traveling through space. The village, the mountains, about 20 miles of forest. It's all one big Dude, spaceship. Dude, I would collapse about at that point. 500 of your Earth years, when we finally reach our destination, we're going to have about 100,000 willing, obedient, docile, profitable slaves. So the whole fucking cult well, thing was just never follow you. No, of course not. to get them isolated no, no, no. or to get we, them to uh, go with we him. We saw how disastrous it was when your species tried to enslave each other. So we had to come up with a new ploy. We had to mm, make you want it. Make you want it. That's rapey as fuck. Mm. We're, we're. Give you a new life. A new life. Through faith. And service. In a few generations, you'll think that you were born to be slaves. That I am your lord. Lord of the manor, as it is. No! So they're like merchants and they're evil? If ye refuse to follow the faith, you shall face the consequences. They're like power hungry and shit? You must listen to me. He's going to destroy us, please. We're trapped. We have to get out of here. Said it yourself, Thomas. We are nothing without our faith. Please listen to me. Listen to me! Dude, they got his wife out there watching. They're like holding her, forcing her to watch her husband being like burned alive. What the fuck, man? Please don't do this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Dude, that would suck so much. Five hundred years they plan on breeding these human beings to the point where they're just gonna be like I guess we were born to be slaves. When you blindly give up your free will to a higher authority, be sure you are not also giving up control of your ultimate destiny. Dude. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, there are many more videos to come. Uh, once again, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Uh, also, uh, please let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments. I'm Wolf Hogan. Peace out.